Live from Carmel High School, this is CHTV. Good morning, Greyhounds. My name is Gigi Well. And I'm Rebecca Lee, here with your CHTV Morning News. Before we begin, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just five days ago, House of Representatives member Matt Guest claimed that he was going to file a motion to vacate Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy from his position. In response, McCarthy just said, bring it on. These proved to be the famous last words as McCarthy was voted out in a very close 216 to 210 vote. Mr. Josh Miller, AP government teacher, talked to CHTV about why this event is so historic. Because obviously it, it's never happened, right? I mean, anytime you see something like this, you have to wonder why it's, why it's happening now. What, what, what led to this point? You had a faction that didn't want to compromise on, on a lot of things. And unfortunately, the U.S. government was built upon compromise and working together. Um, so it's interesting to see where it will, where it will go. But, uh, again, he just, I think he just said that he's not going to rerun for speaker. So really interesting to see who steps up and who, who's going to be good enough for, for everyone, you know, or, or at least the majority. Our students can stay informed and unbiased by sticking to mainstream news sources and reading whole articles. Republican Patrick Henry will take over the house as the interim speaker. Sticking with politics, Carmel mayoral candidates squared off on Monday. The current and Carmel live stream the debate from the Center of the Performing Arts. The two candidates were Republican Sue Finkham and Democrat Miles Nelson. Hot topics included Moms for Liberty, building on Jim Brainerd's legacy, fiscal issues, and housing in Carmel. Speaking of mayors, current Carmel Mayor Jim Brainerd was also honored for his work last Saturday at the Chinese Mooncake Festival. This event took place at Midtown and featured amazing performances such as the Red Lantern Dance. For another amazing performance, let's check it out, Entertainment with Sela. Hey Greyhounds! You need to switch the hey Greyhounds, I'm Sailor Kirby, back with your entertainment update for today. As you all know, today is the last day before our wonderful week-long fall break. I personally cannot wait to sleep in and do some fun fall activities, including carving pumpkins. Whether you go spooky, cute, or get crafty with your pumpkins, did you know that over 149 million Americans plan to carve pumpkins this year? Let's see what everyone else plans to do for this much-needed break. Uh, I'm going to New York for my family for fall break. I'm going to Alabama for fall break. I'm going to Cincinnati to see my family. For fall break, we are going to Pigeon Forge and we are going to go camping. Camping! <laughs> That's it. Um, for fall break, I'm going to Columbia to visit some family. Uh, for fall break, I have one of my long distance travels. For fall break, I'm going to a trip to the Bahamas with my family. Hi, I'm Mrs. McClish, and my plans for fall, uh, fall break are to go to Vegas. So, woohoo, Vegas, baby. I'm staying at home for fall break. My wife and I are going to take a trip and enjoy some time together. I think I'm going to New York. Like, I really don't want to go, honestly. Sounds like this break will be full of travel and some much needed rest at home. Another necessity for getting into your fall era is of course planning out your fall wardrobe. If you're stuck on what to wear this fall, CHTV's very own Jessica Din has some wonderful ideas up her sleeve. Let's check it out. Probably sweaters. I rock with flannels. I love flannels and good sweatshirts and sweatpants. I'd probably say just the sweatshirt and sweatpants. Um, I like to be comfy. Maybe short shorts if you want to get the booty out. Since we're in Carmel, my fashion prediction is that uh, Carmel boys will continue to wear basketball shorts year round, um, which seems like a fashion faux pas, but that seems to be a trend that we hit every, every winter here. Just neutral colors. Sketchers, but 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 they're furry. I think the flannel really deserves a comeback. Yeah, I think uh, it's time for the plaids to to <laughs> come out. I want Uggs. I really not like the half Uggs, which I do love my clogs, but I want like Uggs Uggs to come back. 
Thanks again, Jessica, for those fabulous fashion ideas. Swiftly flipping the script, an event that's sure to make the whole place shimmer, and you won't want to miss is none other than the highly anticipated Taylor Swift The Eras Tour movie. This enchanting event will be displayed on theaters all around the U.S. next Friday the 13th. Featuring every single one of her setlist tracks and a few special surprise songs, it's sure to be a night to remember. AMC Theaters will offer Eras Tour popcorn buckets, posters, and friendship bracelets. I'm so excited to see everyone dressed as their favorite eras. Let's swing it over to Casey to hear more about what era our Carmel sports teams are in heading into fall break. Thanks, Sayla. It's time to get up, Hounds, for your sports update. To start us off, the girls' golf team has won back-to-back -back state champions, led by Michaela Headley and Claire Swathwood. Michaela ended in a four-way tie for second place and plans to head to Purdue next fall to continue her golf career. This is their fourth state championship, so big congrats to the Lady Hounds. Now let's move over to the soccer field, with the boys soccer team entering the first round sectionals against Westfield, led by junior Johnny Gurley's two goals. The Greyhounds won the game with a 5-1. They play Zionsville on Wednesday with a 3-1 win, led by Ryan Barrett's two goals. On Saturday, the Greyhounds faced the North Central Panthers. On the other side, the girls entered the first round of the sectionals playing Christmas Attics, led by dominant play from the senior Claire Simmons, who scored her first goal all season after recovering from injury. The game ended in a 9-0 victory for the Hounds. The Greyhounds took on Westfield on Thursday with a 5-1 win to advance them to the next round of the playoffs. The Lady Hounds will play Zionville on Saturday. Now over to football. Today, the Carmel Greyhound football team plays their last home game of the regular season. The Greyhounds are 4-3, facing the 3-4 Warren Central Warriors. The Greyhounds, led by Norville Tucker's four touchdowns in two games, are looking to break apart the strong run defense of the Warriors. The Greyhounds' defense, led by stars Artie Bryant and Evan Saylors off the edge, are looking to send fans home happy with a win tonight. With that in mind, here's Robbie with the Fantasy Rundown. Thank you, Casey. Good morning, Greyhounds, and welcome to Rubby's Rundown. It's week five and the bye weeks have started. The Seahawks, Browns, Buccaneers, and Chargers are all on their byes this week and will not play. Be sure to update your lineup. Colts quarterback Anthony Richardson has emerged as a solid fantasy option, scoring 29 points against the Rams this weekend. Texans wide receiver Tank Dell and Packers wide receiver Romeo Dobbs are also solid substitutes for starters on their byes. Now let's hear the weather for tonight's football game from Sophie and Lauren, then we'll send it to in-studio. Good morning, Greyhounds, and happy, happy Friday. Friday! I'm Sophie Parker, and I'm Lauren Wolfengel, back with your CHTV weather update. Today, walking down the trail, it's going to be 66 and sunny out, and tonight at the football game, it's going to start in the mid-60s and end in the low 50s, so bundle up, Greyhounds. Looking at your weekend weather, on Saturday and Sunday, you can expect a low of about 41 degrees and a high in the high 50s, which means it's getting colder against fall, y'all. But I'm excited. I don't know about you, Lauren. I'm excited for the holiday Starbucks menu. Me too. I hope your weekend is pumpkin spice and everything nice. Let's send it back to the studio. Are you interested in joining choir but don't know how to balance it with your other extracurriculars? Come to the choir department's Mix, Mingle, and Mentorship for a chance to talk to current choir members, eat some snacks, and win some prizes. This event will be during SRT on October 17th and 30th in rooms E157 and E140. Stop by these rooms at any time for more information, and we hope to see you there. Now back to the host desk. Thanks everyone for those amazing segments. Before we move on to daily announcements, we'd like to wish the happiest birthday to everyone listed on the screen. Take a break at your Carmel High School library today. Scan the QR code in classrooms or at the library to sign up for time with the Makerspace items. You can visit for first or second session or both. We look forward to seeing you today for Makerspace. Are you interested in debating ideas and developing thinking skills? Philosophy Club is hosting its call meeting after school today in room B205. Snacks will be provided. Current sophomores interested in representing Carmel High School at the Hugh O'Brien Leadership Seminar in June can pick up an application from Mr. Stolpe in room E233. For more information on this organization, please go to hoby.org. Coquette's dance team auditions will be held Monday, October 16th and Tuesday, October 17th in the freshman gym from 4.15 until 5. The winter dance team auditions are open to any current CHS student not participating in a winter sport. See Coach Wolf in C117 with any questions. 
Before we leave you today, it's time for our first pet of the week of this school year. If you would like your furry friend to be featured on our show, send us your pet's name and a photo through Instagram. We will use all of our entries this year for our Pet of the Year contest in March, so send those photos in now. And that's all we have for your morning announcements, Greyhounds. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel at CHTV Carmel Television and follow our Instagram at Carmel TV. Also, subscribe to our newly launched loyalty program, CHTV Plus. If you'd like to learn more, you can check out our website, chtvcarmel.com. This has been Gigi Well. And I've been Rebecca Lee. Have a great Friday and a wonderful fall break, Greyhounds. <laughs>